Welcome back to Big Week on the Farm. Yeah, look, it's been a hectic week here so far. We have started, a couple of jobs going on. We've started our new offices. We've started building a new store, which the boys are here in the background at. And we also bailed a bit of hay as well. So we'll catch up on those as we go along. So stay tuned to the video there. Watch it to the end. If you like, subscribe, put a comment in below, whatever you have to do. And yeah, look, we'll see you at the end of the video. We've just started clearing off the site to our new potato store here at the back. As you can see, we have a little bit of a top side, a little bit of sub side to dig out here. The, the shed is 100 by 100 and it will, will run directly along with this other shed. Now we have a break of, of about 60 foot in between the existing shed just for a fire break. And yeah, the lads are busy ahead there. We have a good bit to take off the top of it here because the ground is quite high and it runs a little bit lower here. So we will have to, we have stone to backfill into this corner. And yeah, we have four trailers that are on the way and they're heading up the road there just to another farm there where we have a very kind of a, one of the fields there is a slight dip in the field and we're going to put the top sail in there to level it off so we will go directly from here up to the other farm offload it up there the boys are busy drawing away it's a fantastic time of year to get something like this done because it's been good and dry and it's so easy then you're not creating any muck inside and we're up and down in the fields itself as well anyway so we're not even out on the road but uh, yeah look we have a few days ahead of us here to get this cleared once we have it clear then we can mark out the site backfill with a bit of stone and yeah we'll keep you supposed to there how we go along last week you would have seen Calum getting the square bell already the John Deere with the 2130 as you can see it is sitting pretty there just after bailing 200 bales no stops which is very unusual when you have a square bell up but in fairness the hay is an absolute mighty tip farm top farm Jack has done a great job he mowed it he turned it maybe two or three times not sure and they rolled it up Seth and Joe came in here and we have He's on the square, he's on the round bailer, I'm in the square bailer, 200 bales. We have a bale sleigh, just in case anyone says we do have a bale sleigh, so, uh, but the lads want to put them in single sail, just for a little bit more exercise, you know, because they just need to kind of get trim up a bit there. So, uh, yeah, we're going to throw them onto the trailer shortly. Um, yeah, it's always a great tradition in Finnegan's years ago that we made a lot of hay, and it's always great to get back out and we still be able to do it. Like So, yeah, the 2130, she may only get out for maybe one day in the year, but she was a dream, came over the road, into the sward straight away, never stopped once, never threw a loose spade, which is quite unusual as I say, but yeah, we just need to get them, get the trailers down and get them drawn in, back into the shed, and they'll be ready for the, for the calves sooner later on. So finally, our new offices have just started. Now, we've been a number of years waiting for these offices to arrive. Uh, we've been probably working out with the um, porter cabins and things like that and that's been fine too we got away with that but we just want to kind of build a couple of offices for ourselves and once we got our permission on that away we went so as you can see here this is just the outline of it um, the floor has been poured in and the expansion joints have been cut and we're ready just waiting for the blockies to come and start building on it'll consist of uh, one big office there open plan office we have a main reception area here stairs going up it'll be two-story and we also have toilets in at the back and then another smaller office here on the side. So yeah, look, it's great to just get it off the ground and to get it up and running now and at least we can see that uh, hopefully at some stage we will move into it. Hopefully this side of Christmas, you never know. Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays and on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go
ice cream for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> You're a good big bowl child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, double 99 please with two cones. Uh, <laughs> We cleared the site, we actually rotivated it uh, twice just to get that uh, sod off it because sometimes it can cause a little bit of a problem. So we've rotivated it twice just to chip it and make it nice and fine and then we got the big grubber, the big deep grubber and ran through it. It's the same as more or less ploughing it but we hadn't got the plough on the tractor so we put the big ripper into it and it just scrubbed it up and leaves it lovely and loose for, uh, for the digger there, for the digger driver to be able to put it in and then we can bank that on one side, we'll bank the, the top side one side and the sub side then we'll go to another another area with it. But yeah, it's lovely and lovely and loose, lovely, lovely soil there. Shame to be taking it off, but what can you do? That's the life goes on. Just a quick update with Jack on the stock. How are they looking, Jack? A bit, little bit of good news too. I see a big smiling yeah, on face yeah, there. Yeah, for a change. So uh, we had the hair test this week, is now approaching the middle of summer. Uh, we did the hair test on Tuesday, tested all the hairs, and we were reading this morning and we got good news, we got all clear. So right. thanks be to God. Now a lot, a lot of work went into it, a lot of organisation, sorting cattle and cows and calves, but look, it's all paid off. So that's our first test clear out of the way, and now we'll have to go again another 60 days, okay. and then we are all clear. So we're just out here in uh, 2015, how many acres in it? Uh, there's probably about 12 in that. 12, 12, 12. Roughly, roughly. Ro roughly, roughly we're not going to count it there. Oh, no, no. Only in paddocks. Um, bit of top and done, I see. Bit of top and done, just to clean it up. Um, just you think there's a world of grass in it, but you go out to it and it's all uh, yeah, just granny stuff. Uh, yeah, just, yeah. Um, and it just needs to be topped off and even needs to be cleaned it, up. That field just wasn't. This was a farm where there was yes, a lot of horses on it. Real old meadow grass. Yeah. Real old meadow grass. So just clean up any of the stringy stuff and the cattle will graze it there, clean it up for a day or two, and it'll be moved on to fresh pasture. Stock are looking good. Stock are looking fierce. So it was a great calf there. Yeah. Um, no, thriving well, really starting to thrive this time of year, thanks be to God. Um, just a nice bit of soft rain there too. Yeah, every little bit helps, Every little it? bit helps, bring on a bit of greenery, please God. So, um, and grass situation, are you tight on grass? Or tight, is it? tight in this farm now, anywhere else now is not too bad, just tight. If it got, if it got a week or two's rest now, you'd be sound, yeah. you'd be sound. But um, look, it's not affecting the cattle, the cows don't really need us, the calves as such. Um, so with the hair test out of the way, the next thing will be scanning and we'll keep you updated on that now, it'll be yeah. another week or two weeks away, so. Hopefully it'll be good news yeah, there as well. Yeah, please got good news as well, so. Um, yeah, well look, it's great, great to see Jack in good form here again. <laughs> uh, he was a bit worried there for a while, but yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah. smile is back in his face, yeah, back, so well done anyway, so yeah. hopefully we'll, we'll another keep, 60 keep days, we'll, we'll have a good yeah, result again. Yeah, please so, God. Thanks, Jack. So that's it for this week's big week on the farm, yeah, stay tuned there and we'll talk to you all again next Saturday.